As I mentioned, we're going to go back to find out how do we put those numbers in there, right? And so what you need to remember is that there are two ways in which we could calculate those numbers for the estimate, right? We have percentage of sales and we have percentage of receivables. So let's talk about percentage of sales estimate. Very easy estimate. Percentage of sales. Let's just make a percent sign. Percentage of sales. So under percentage of sales, basically what you do is you take a particular percent based on previous experience or industry experience about your, your customer base. And whatever that percent is that's given to you, you would take that percent and you would multiply it times credit sales. When I say the word credit sales, I mean your, your sales that you sold on an account. So any sales that was generated on an account, you're going to take that and multiply it times the percentage. Whatever that number is, it goes directly into your estimate journal entry that I've lectured about. Okay? So let's look at an example. Suppose that we sold inventory on account. For hundred thousand dollars and estimates uh, let's see five percent of sales to be uncollectible. So let's suppose that we sold inventory on account for $100,000 and estimate 5% of sales to be uncollectible. What are the key words, right? Well, we sold inventory on account, right? And 5% of sales, key word, to be uncollectible, all right? So we already know how to journalize the sale. Of course, we would debit what? Uh, Accounts receivable for $100,000 and credit sales revenue for $100,000. And for right now, we're ignoring the whole inventory cost of goods sold transaction. We're just trying to get to the point here. So if we wanted to make an estimate based on this information, we would have two choices, percentage of sales or percentage of receivables. But obviously, we know which one that we are encouraged or forced to do, and that's percentage of sales. It told us sales. So that's why we have to do percentage of sales. So when it's time to do the actual estimate, we will go to the journal entry that we already know, which means we would debit bad debt expense. And we will credit what? Allowance for uncollectible account. And now it's time to calculate it, right? Now it's time to calculate it. So how will we go by calculating? We will go by calculating it by taking what? $100,000 was the actual sales and multiplying it times 0 0.05, which is the 5%. Very easy. Easy breezy. So we know that the journal entry answer for that would give us $5,000. Piece of cake. Anytime that you have, anytime that you have a percent of, of sales, you just take the number. You multiply it and you plug it directly into your um, journal. 